start by removing the tie rod end on this side. I'm tightening it and loosening so I could eventually get it off. Then I'll remove this ABS line. Now I can remove the brake caliper assembly. Then get the bottom one. I'll just rest this on top of my toolbox over here so I won't be putting pressure on the brake line. There's this 10 millimeter bolt here that secures the rotor onto the hub. And it's stuck. A couple of bangs with a hammer will fix it. There we go. I'm going to remove caliper dust shield. Then I'll disconnect the ABS sensor from the steering knuckle. Now I'll disconnect the CV axle nut. Now I'll remove the strut nuts and bolts. There's two of them. Now I'll remove the upper strut mount nuts so I can remove the strut assembly. Now I have to push down on the whole knuckle to separate it. Now I can tell this is really loose. Probably this ball joint shot. So I'm going to detach the ball joint and the lower control arm and remove the whole steering knuckle out. Now we'll remove the lower control arm. You have a nut and bolt over here and two bolts over here that are secure from the back, so I have to get under the car to unscrew these bolts. Put a little bit of WD-40 to facilitate removal. pushing right here shot too much replay so you can see the cracks in here I have to transfer this bump stock from this this old control arm onto the new one The ball joint is attached to the steering knuckle over here. So you have to take these two bolts out, and then you have to pry and try to hammer this ball joint out. And it's equally difficult getting it back in. So I put some grease in here. The new ball joints have splines on these. And you gotta bang this in. You can start by using the nut the bolts, but it'll go in a little bit cockeyed.
See, it tends to favor pushing it on this side. So you got to hammer it a little bit on this side to help it along. flush both sides I used a uh, bungee cord to support the CV axle up and out of the way of the uh, lower control arm okay now we're putting in the new control arm now I have to get under the car to line up those bolts with the holes for that pushing bracket. I just got the thread started over here, but I won't tighten it up until after I get this bolt in on, for the rear bushing. Okay. Okay, now I'll go underneath and tighten up these front bushing bolts. And since it's easily accessible, I'm going to put on the new sway boy link. Now there's a big side and a little side. The little side goes on the bottom. The big side, it's a bigger stud, wider stud, goes on top. I'm going to mount the spin compressors on. Now we can add the third one over here to compress this spring and that'll relieve the tension of the spring from the, the spring mount here. We want to relieve the tension. We want to take this nut off right now. I'm using the T50 Torx to hold the shaft in place while I remove this nut with channel locks. See, it's cracked. So this spring seat, see that? It's shot. Now we'll take the strut out. It's shot. Now this rubber thing is called a spring insulator. We're going to take that out.
should go. Tilt it up. Here's a new spring seat. We'll align this, this groove over here with the end of the spring over here. Now we tighten this up. The factory original was Torx, but the aftermarket is Hex. Okay, now we'll put on the strut mount. The spring seat moved a little bit. Okay, get it. All right, now I can relieve, relieve the tension. Ready? Seated right here, and it's seated right here. You have to transfer this brake clip. Okay. Now we'll put the strut back in. I have to push the control arm down to line up the bolt holes with the steering knuckle with the strut holes. Way boiling. Okay. 
Take the ABS line. Okay, that's it, we're done.